Hi, my name is Rose King Quinn and I'm a software engineer with New Beta Consulting. Um, and me, along with a couple of other guys who contributed to the project, entered the Open Data NI competition. So we kind of approached it a bit differently. Um, we looked for a gap in the market and then we tried to answer that gap. And the gap is basically there are lots of resources out there for teachers to teach kids how to code, but not many resources or kind of not any, well, there's maybe like one or two to teach kids about data. So that's the, the premise that was taken. Um, and <coughs> it's basically designed a game. And the idea of the game is this is GAF, and you're given a data mission. And the mission is we have a young family who are moving to Belfast, and they are going to use open data sets. And we basically pretend to put them into a SQL database, and they can query the database and learn SQL that way. So just flick through this quickly uh, and we'll get going I'll show you so it's really simple has anybody ever played the game Duolingo nobody yeah like I I, just, I love it um so the idea is that you can just like drag and drop things um into you see I'll get this wrong but uh you drag and drop things to create the SQL um queries and then the repetition means that you will start to learn over and over again and then there's a bit of a story and a premise so it's really about gamification simplifying it down um, and just trying to make it as fun as possible so that for a student it's just easy for them to understand and it's a re it's to give them like a real life um, application of why they would use SQL um, and then just at the very end of the game I'm not going to go through 30 SQL questions but um there's a visualization with the actual open data uh, for the areas it has crime, schools, um, and playgrounds. And the idea is that the end of the game gives them the data visualization so that they can decide what part of Belfast they're going to live in. I mean, they're not going to live in Malone because they can't afford it, but, you know. So, that, and it's, a, it's very straightforward. It's mostly front end, so it's mostly JavaScript apart from um, the uh, open data sets, some JSON files in there. It's actually, so, Believe it or not, it's aimed at GCSE and A-level. So I know that maybe the front end in terms of the UI could be a bit babyish. Like it was really, literally it was looking at Duolingo and trying to figure out like what would be the best design that would, you know, would bridge a lot of uh, different ages. So we're kind of at the stage where we're going out and we're going to be testing with kids and I am absolutely waiting for 17 year olds to massacre this like the feedback to be absolutely terrible but that's not such a big deal you know we can cross that bridge when we come to it but it, it was really it was definitely influenced heavily by Duolingo um, and then so parts of this game use D3JS so that kind of leads me on to what I was going to talk about just after that if you give me one second